Hey guys, good morning. This is Dan with Ledger Support. In this video today, I'm going to talk about the Ethereum merge. The reason why I chose this topic is because the merge is um, finally coming. Um, so you guys have a lot of questions on social media about the merge and how that's going to impact Ledger. Um, so I thought I would record this video and answer those most common questions. So because we're getting a lot of questions from you guys about the merge, we decided at support to write a Ethereum merge FAQ, which you can find on the help center on the Ledger uh, website. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover the TLDR and then I'll go into each specific questions. So the TLDR is basically the merge will not have a noticeable impact on how you use your Ledger Ethereum account in Ledger Live you basically will not see a noticeable difference between before the merge and after the merge. Um, also, it's completely safe to keep your ETH, NFTs, and ERC20 tokens in your Ledger Ethereum account during and after the merge. So there is basically nothing you have to do. Just keep your assets in your current account. The merge will happen when it happens, and that's it. Nothing will dramatically change. What we would recommend, though, is the merge might be a little messy when it happens. So during the merge, I would um, personally recommend not to do high value uh, transfers of ETH or ERC20 tokens or uh, NFT transfers, just in case there is a little bit of um, chaos in the chain. You never know. So during the time of the merge, I would say just avoid those high value transactions. The final point, and this one is the most important, I think important events like the merge will attract a lot of scammers. Uh, so people will try to benefit from the confusion to try to gain access to 20 forward recovery phrase. Um, just to be super clear, um, you don't need your 20 forward recovery phrase to do anything related with the merge. We won't ask you for it. Anyone asking you for it um, should be considered a scammer. So I think you can expect uh, fake emails from scammers asking you to sync your accounts or upgrade your accounts for the merge or transfer your balance to a merge compatible balance or Ethereum accounts, things like that. This is all uh, scams. Uh, basically, the only thing you have to do is nothing. Just keep your assets in the same Ethereum account and you'll be perfectly okay. But again, those big events, they attract a lot of scams and scammers. So just be careful. All right. Don't share your 24 word recovery phrase with anyone, including Ledger. Uh, let's go deeper into each individual question. The first one being, what is the merge exactly? So the merge at a very high level is about uh, a change on how new blocks are produced and ordered within the Ethereum blockchain. So the current system is proof of work. After the merge, we are going to retire this system and um, activate or connect proof of stake. So the merge is basically this change from proof of work to proof of stake. The merge doesn't affect smart contracts directly, doesn't affect your balances, it doesn't, it's not an airdrop or anything like that. It's just a change of the consensus mechanism at the core of the Ethereum protocol. Another question that we get is when will the merge happen? And the answer is, Currently, the estimated date for the merge is September 15th, 2022. Now, this date might change because it doesn't depend on a block number or like a calendar date. It actually depends on the total difficulty that's gone into the proof of work chain. Once we've got enough difficulty that's been or hash rate that's been going into the chain, then proof of work, it's going to be turned off and proof of stake will be activated. Um, so yeah, you can uh, use this website here called bordel.wtf, <laughs> which is an interesting name to track uh, when the merge is going to happen. Next question is, is it safe to keep my Ethereum assets inside of my Ledger Ethereum account before, during and after the merge? The answer is yes, it's completely safe and you won't have to do anything. Just leave your assets there before, during, and after the merge. The merge will happen and this will have absolutely zero effect on your assets. So you don't need to update or sync or transfer or do anything with your accounts. Just leave everything there and don't touch anything. Another question we get is, will I get an ETH2 coin airdrop during or after the merge? 
Uh, the answer is absolutely not. Your ETH balance and ERC20 tokens and NFTs will be exactly the same before, during, and after the merge. There's not going to be an, an airdrop. This is not how the merge works. Um, be super careful of scammers um, that might try to convince you otherwise and try to gain access to 24 weight recovery phrase. There is not going to be an airdrop. Another question we get, will uh, the merge make Ethereum cheaper to use? And the answer is, unfortunately, it will not. The merge doesn't uh, affect the gas price issue. If anything, it might make Ethereum even more popular and make the gas price worse. This is just speculation on my part, but definitely the merge is not going to make Ethereum cheaper. It's not designed for that. Another connected question we get is, will the merge make Ethereum faster? The answer is not really. So it is true that uh, block time is going to go from the current 13 seconds on average under the proof of work system to a very regular 12 second per block to the merge. So there might be a slight uh, increase in speed, but really in your everyday use, you shouldn't um, see any noticeable difference. So will the merge make Ethereum faster to use? Not really. Another question we get is, will you guys continue supporting the legacy proof of work Ethereum chain after the merge? The answer is it's complicated. Um, right now, after the merge, if you open Ledger Live, all you'll see is your Ethereum uh, accounts on the proof of stake chain. We are not planning uh, continue supporting the proof of work chain immediately after the merge. The reason why is because we put security first and uh, it's not guaranteed that the proof of work chain will be safe to use right after the merge. Two reasons for that. First of all, they are risk of replay attacks. And second of all, it's because uh, if the proof of work chain uh, doesn't attract sufficient hash power, then it might be actually unsafe to use that chain. And at Ledger, we put security first, so we don't want to give users um, access to an account that might harm their funds and put them in a dangerous situation. So that's the reason why we will not continue supporting the proof of work chain after the merge. Uh, now, we'll continue monitoring the situation. If the proof of work chain in the future becomes um, safe to use, has enough hash rate and community, then we'll think about uh, putting it back into Ledger Live. But again, immediately after the merge, when you open Ledger Live, what you'll see is your Ethereum accounts on the proof of stake chain, not on the proof of work chain. Next question we're getting, will Ethereum uh, experience downtime during the merge? The answer is no, Ethereum will not stop during the merge. Uh, this is one of the reasons why the merge is uh, and has been so difficult to implement. It's because the core developers didn't want um, the Ethereum network to stop, do the merge and turn back on. They wanted uh, service to be continuous throughout the merge. So Ethereum will keep uh, running as normal during the merge. However, again, just just in case the merge proves a little messy, I would suggest not to do any high value transactions during the merge, just in case you get in situations where some blocks are getting reorganized or there is a little bit of chaos around the merge. Um, so I would wait until the dust settle here and uh, then resume my transactions as normal. Next question we're getting, will I need to update or upgrade or migrate my Ethereum funds before, during, or after the merge? The answer is absolutely not. You don't need to move your assets and you certainly don't need to use your 24 word recovery phrase to do anything related to the merge. Again, be super careful guys. I think a lot of scammers will try to take advantage of the confusion to try to trick people into revealing their 24 word phrase you don't need to move your assets or to use your 24 word recovery phrase with anything related to the merge. Now, on our side, however, two things might happen during the merge or before the merge. First of all, it's possible that you will need to update the Ethereum app onto your Ledger device. So you do this by going into the manager, then you type Ethereum, and then you've got an upgrade that's here. This is, as you know, very different from moving your funds, right? This is just updating the Ethereum app on the Ledger device. 
It's also possible that we will ask you guys to update Ledger Live. And if we do, we'll provide safe links to do it. That will be via the normal link on the website. But again, the assets themselves do not need to be moved out of the device. And again, you don't need to use your 24 word recovery phrase with anything related to the merge. Next question. Hey, I have 32 ETH in my Ledger account. Will I be able to solo stake my ETH through Ledger Live right after the merge? And the answer is no, you won't be able to do it via Ledger Live immediately after the merge. That might be a feature that we support in the future, but this won't be uh, available right after the merge. Now, if you want to use your ETH and do what we call solo staking, it is possible. And that's basically the main um, advantage of the merge is now you can solo stake instead of going through something uh, like Lido, for example. Um, if you're interested in solo staking your ETH, then you'll have to spin up a validator yourself. There is a very, very good guide and tutorial um, that's available on the ethereum.org website. And you can see it here on my screen. You can follow those instructions. It's a bit technical, but then you'll be able to use your ETH to solo stake. Another question we get, I am already a solo staker on the beacon chain. Will I be able to unstake my ETH from the beacon chain after the merge? The answer is unfortunately, no, you won't be able to unstake immediately after the merge. The reason why is because the Ethereum core developers have indicated that it will take one more upgrade after the merge to implement uh, unstaking. And this um, new upgrade might take like another year after the merge to be implemented in the protocol. So yeah, you won't be able to unstake immediately after the merge, unfortunately. Next question, I have Lido STETH inside my Ledger Ethereum account. What happens to the STETH after the merge? The answer is nothing happens to your STETH. It will still be in your Ethereum account. It will continue accrue daily rewards just as before. And you will also be able to um, use the Lido app just as before by going to the Discover section in Ledger Live. You can click Lido and then you can stake uh, ETH for STETH just as before the merge. The merge will have absolutely no effect on Lido. All right, guys, and I think that's it. So what if you have other questions or any doubts or you just want to talk to us and ask us questions directly, then there's many ways you can do this. The first way you can reach out to us is directly via the Ledger website, uh, the support section to be exact. Uh, on the support page, you can click the help button here and start a live conversation with one of our agents, or you can also submit a ticket. You can also reach out to us on Twitter we are at ledger underscore support. That's ledger underscore support. Uh, be very careful on Twitter because there are a lot of scammers and fake ledger accounts. Ours is again ledger underscore support and it has a little check mark. Um, in terms of additional content that you can check out to learn more about the merge, I would say we have the Ethereum merge FAQ on our support page. And you can also check out the Emerge article uh, on ethereum.org. It's excellent, excellent documentation. I hope that was useful and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.